What up, what up gamers? Today we're going to be going over the most shut down defense in NCAA 25 and let you guys into my mindset on what I see on the field and how I adjust. If you enjoy these type of breakdowns, make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below for the algorithm. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. We are the Texas Longhorns going against an online opponent. He has the USC Trojans. Now, we're going to be facing five wide and a lot of different formations, so stay tuned. Every year in football, you have what people call cheese plays. And every single year, I find the best counters against them. If you want to be able to lock down all the cheese plays in NCAA 25 and Madden 25, make sure that you go in the link in the description and get the ebook or become a Patreon member. Shout out to everybody that's been showing support lately. These guys have been able to lock down the run, lock down the RPO, lock down the pass, three man, four man, blitzes, you name it, we got it. Updated every single week and after every single patch. So my opponent gets the ball first and we wanna establish picture, okay? So right there, we get a cover sec, second and 21. Smart opponent. He realized I am being aggressive early. He hits me with a halfback slip screen, makes somebody miss, and we need 21 yards to stop him. He gets 22 yards. So right here, he's already close to the red zone. We're sending the pressure again. Now this brings up a big third and 11. Now one thing about this guy is he came out in a whole different offense early in the game, and right here, he breaks my match, okay? I'm running a lot of match coverage so when you put four people on one side, it breaks the match coverage. Here we go, striking right back in the red zone with a whip rope. So we tie the game up, but it has been about four minutes. NCAA has shorter quarters. So we got to get on the defensive side of the ball and we got to get a stop. 41 seconds before the half, I don't have my adjustments set up. He is quick hiking the ball. I didn't go into coach adjustments and set up for speed options. So it's great. He started the game off not letting me see it. So then when he does run it, it catches me off guard. Right there, we get a breakup and then he comes out with a halfback stretch has my cornerback to the wide side of the field what a great play call by my opponent so we are close to the half with about 20 seconds left i can see he's in two man under we come with a two man under bomb a lot of time in the pocket we pass lead it try to be more down the middle but we do a possession catch to about the seven yard line with a penalty so we're gonna decline the penalty kick our three points go into the half we're going to be down four points halftime adjustments we're going to have to watch the running back more and we're going to have to use zone drops on certain formations we can't be running match when he has a running back and three receivers on one side that's going to cancel the match coverage so we're going to come out the half down four points i can see man on man coverage we're going to throw a laser beam for a tutty 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 let's go you put one on one on my receivers we're going to take the roof off you feel me do your little dance buddy now we got to get back on the defensive side the adjustments we said we were going to do at halftime we're going to have to do it on the field so he comes out with a two by two formation that's two receivers on the right two receivers on the left and the running back we get a cover sack Boom. Now it brings up a second and 22. Got to be smart in these situations. He has been converting them. Have back screen. He tries to quick hike a corner route. We are all over it. Bump him just enough to throw his route timing off. And it's a big third and 22 right here. Okay. He's going out in five wide. That's when you got somebody desperate. We're going to make adjustments. We have a 20 yard cloud over there. And then we have a yellow zone dropping in the middle. Five wide, you want to make sure that you are playing matching principles with a simple blitz. Four man, five man blitz is the easiest way to stop five wide offenses. Okay, so if you are playing match coverage, cover four quarters, cover three match. That side with the three receivers is going to be match. Make sure that you use your linemen in these situations. As you can see, I drop him into a 20-yard yellow zone. That's going to stay in the middle of the field long enough. Make my opponent hold the ball. And we get another covered sack. That's the turnover that we need. 
We watch the running back. We get a cover sack. He's playing a lot of man coverage. We're going to throw a dot to the sidelines. Nice possession catch. Now we're going to do our substitutions that fast. We kick the field goal before the half. Came out, scored a touchdown right away. That's 10 points. Now we got a chance to score another 7 points. That's 7, 14, 17 point turnaround that fast with a stop after the half. My opponent still hasn't scored since the halftime adjustments. With 1 minute and 39 seconds left in the third quarter. So, now we got to keep it up. He's still in that 5 wide. So, what I'm going to do, play match coverage. The 3 receivers is on the left. I'm going to man up that inside guy with my best Press cornerback, not the fastest speed, somebody that has jammer ability, put him right there, help over the top. He seen that one-on-one -on -one coverage, didn't realize that the safety was hovering right there, waiting for a deep ball. He lobs it up. He doesn't stay in the pocket, been sending a lot of pressure against 5 Y, and that's exactly how you get a turnover. My opponent seen enough and pulls the cord. Now, if you want the full match game plan make sure that you follow the link in the description if you want the nasty blitzes make sure that you follow the link in the description and in the comment section elevate your game overnight